Son, how you doing? This is Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. All right, here we go. A Dubuque man arrested after biting a man's nose off during a fight on Saturday. Dubuque, Iowa. A Dubuque man has been arrested after a physical disturbance in which he bit another man's nose off. Officials said it happened just after 11 p.m. on Saturday. I always say nothing happens good after midnight, but maybe it needs to be revised to 11. A criminal complaint said that 24-year-old Blair Allen Ward and 20-year-old John Frank Turner III were asked to leave Noonan's Tap after getting into a verbal disturbance with several other patrons. Traffic camera footage shows Ward and Turner continuing their verbal argument with two other people before getting into a physical altercation in the alley. During the fight, Ward punched a man and tackled him to the ground. The man was able to break free and ran with the other person being attacked. To a residence at 1491 Bluff Street. I don't know where that is. Officials said Ward threw two large rocks at the residence, causing $350 damage to a window, must have broken it, and threatened to kill the man's family while yelling at him to come out and fight. Yeah, you know, alcohol does weird things to people. Another physical altercation occurred between Ward, Turner, and the man, with Ward throwing punches and Turner wielding a long metal pole. During this fight, officials said, Ward bit most of the man's nose off. Holy crap, that had to hurt. Which Ward later admitted to. <laughs> wonder what he did with it. Ward faces charges of criminal mischief, assault causing bodily injury, harassment, willful injury, causing serious injury, and interference with official acts, and biting someone's nose off. Turner was also arrested and charged with disorderly conduct. The man who had his nose bitten off, this is what I want to know, <laughs> did he get his nose back, was taken to the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics where he will need surgery to rebuild his nose. Apparently not. There he is, John Frank Turner. He's a nose biter. Okay, well, you know, alcohol, fights. Didn't uh, Tyson bite somebody's ear off? Anyway, let's move on to our next story, shall we? Woman who raised deer in her home is cited after it gores a neighbor. CPW says, wildlife officers euthanized the young buck deer. Oh, wow. They put it down. After the incident on Friday, according to Colorado Parks and Wildlife, a 73-year-old woman was cited with two misdemeanors after a young buck deer she had raised in her home, in her home, gored her neighbor last week. Tynette Housley of Black Forest admitted to raising and feeding the deer, which she took into her home a year ago when it was a days-old fawn. That's the problem with wildlife. You take them in when they're cute and cuddly, and they grow up and kick the shit out of you. On Friday morning, the buck attacked a neighbor who was walking her dog. The woman told officials that the buck repeatedly knocked her down and gored her with its antlers while she ran to a neighbor's house and then to her own house. Only when she ran between two cars in her garage did the buck back off. <laughs> that buck that either didn't like her or didn't like that dog. The woman spoke to officers from her hospital bed and has since been released. She suffered serious lacerations to her head, cheek, and legs. Ouch. 
the buck also approached a CPW wildlife officer who was investigating the attack. The officer euthanized the buck. What does that mean? He shot it, which had blood on its two-pronged antlers, and took it to the CPW's animal health lab so it could be tested for rabies. The deer's stomach contents of hay, grain, corn, and possibly potato confirmed that humans were feeding it. Housley was cited with illegal possession of wildlife, illegally feeding wildlife. You know, there's so many laws, you can be arrested for anything nowadays. She was also issued a warning for possessing live wildlife without a license. Of course, there's another one. After she described keeping the buck in her home, her, in her garage, and on her property. Misdemeanors carry fines and surcharging totaling about $1,100. We can't say it enough. Wild animals are not pets, said Frank McGee. Well, he couldn't be more right. Beating deer habitu habit habituates them to humans. They lose their fear of humans, and that leads to these outcomes that are tragic for both wildlife and people. So, yeah, get a dog, get a cat. Why do these people have to have deers and tigers and skunks and snakes and whatever? All right, let's move on to our next story, shall we? Man jailed after having sex with chickens. You're better off feeding a wild deer, I think. A man has been jailed for three years for having sex with his own pet chickens. Well, at least they were his own. You know, if they were neighbors, they could be called chicken rape or something. Well, here's a good part. While his wife filmed him. Okay. Do we even need to know any more about this? Care worker Rayhan Beg was described as depraved, despicable, and perverted for the animal abuse that would make any right-thinking member of society sick to their stomach. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Beg, 37, abused the chickens in the basement of his home. He shared with his wife, Halima, 38, who also featured in the footage of the abuse. I guess who was also featured in the footage of the abuse. Bradford Crown Court heard. Oh, yeah, never mind. The videos recording using a GoPro, GoPro camera, eh, yeah, at least they're waterproof, were saved under the file name Family Vids. <laughs> At one stage, Big alternated between having intercourse with his wife and the chicken. You got to be freaking kidding me, dude. These are some sick people. Big was sentenced after pleading guilty to having intercourse with the chickens, possessing images of himself and his wife, engaging in sex sex with a dog. Where did the dog come from? I guess that must when who the wife likes to, you know, get it on when. And making indecent images of children. You knew that was coming. His wife was handed a six-month suspended sentence after admitting that she filmed her husband. The brown and white chickens died as a result of the abuse <laughs> in the couple's home. Yeah, well, they're probably better off. Officers seized two computers, a laptop, and a mobile phone and found 49 images of child abuse, including 11 in the most serious category. Yeah, these are two sickos. <sighs> fucking chickens, fucking a dog, child porn. What a low life. Jeez. All right, I think we've uh I think we've heard enough about that story. And finally, this happened. Please just keep watching if you shop at Zara. So I bought these really cute flary type leather pants. And I went out to eat with my family in them. And thank God it was just my family. 
On her way out, my sister drops her phone. So I go down to pick it up, and this happens. <laughs> so here's a warning if you want to buy these pants. Don't bend down. One more time. She drops her phone. One more time. I go pick it up. The old farty pants. Okay. Okay. That, that's fantastic. You don't need one of those cushions. All right. That's going to do it for today's edition of the Aimless News. Like this video. Share this video. Subscribe to our channel. Because remember, the Aimless News must be told. Ha, ha, ha.